don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. Oh, yeah, Rick. If you don't want no smoke, you shouldn't have started that. My niggas call me out, but never call me back. So I'm just about the money. I need all the checks. If you ain't got over 30 battles, I can't call you back. You ain't coming outside, you are not a threat. 2K5 from 5, I want all the rent. Shooting with the shooters, I lost all respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's get into it. You already know who it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGameClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Salute to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Man, I got a couple things I got to talk about today, so I'm just going to put it all in one, and we can just get this thing out the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I think that's the best way. Let's just put it all together. Um... I've seen a lot of people talk about New Jersey twerk, saying he's the GOAT over Murder Mook, things like that. Now, while I ain't going to go left and go, you know, with a big, 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 big scenario, I'll just say he's wrong. Um, while he is the most copied MC, you know, all these new guys got a headshot and a bang and a bow and they do amenities and all of this shit, stretching out words and all of that stuff. Complicated and duplicate, all of that shit. I get it, right? Exciting, but um, no. Murder Mook transcended the culture. Murder Mook, uh, you know what I'm saying, from the DVD era of like, think invincible until the kids slam on him like Vince do. I never knew sensible. Like, his freestyles from back in the day, I, it's not even really comparable. Now, them in the two on two, it's gonna be a dope two on two. I can't wait to see that dialogue between those two individuals, you know what I'm saying, between Mook and, and um, Twerk. Those two. Calico T Top Cool. I want to see their, their thing, you know what I mean? Like, like I want to see how Mook is able, is he going to be able to break down Twerk in a way that needs to be done? Is he going to, is Twerk going to bring three rounds? See, that's the thing, like, I don't think someone can be considered a GOAT or the best ever if they're very inconsistent in their battles. Like, his last two, three battles, he's choked him. He says he stops himself, but whatever the case may be, you guys decide upon that. Uh, hopefully, that shit goes well. Um, John, John the Don. Salute to him again. Him and um, Ace Amin is crossing two, three hundred thousand in a day, man. It was, it was, I think it was a dope decision for them to drop the battle ASAP. Now, I know there may be some people that's like, yo, I paid for the pay per view. What about that? I paid for the pay. Nigga, we wasn't there for that. You niggas was there for one battle. I'm sorry. Salute to everybody else that was on the card, shit like that, shit like that. I ain't even seen most of the battle. That nigga was just there for one battle. Nigga was there for John John versus Ace Amin. That's what niggas is there for. If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Niggas is there for one battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, the other shit was, was, was extra, but niggas was there for that. So for him to release it on YouTube the day after, it did a lot for the fans. It let the people who was watching the recaps have that engagement, be able to talk, be able to pick their winner and things like that. There's a lot of people who feel like John John won. Lyrically, he did. He might have, you know what I'm saying? To those people, he did. Ace, I mean, for what he did, he did, he won too. So. I think Battle Rap Culture won. Both of them did their motherfucking thing, so regardless of how you call it, them releasing that battle fast is what we want everybody to do. I know all leagues can't do it and shit like that. You know, you got the URL app. Now that app, y'all gotta fix that shit. What in the fuck is going on? Bro, they dropping all these Crucible Crucible new niggas every day. Now I'm not mad, you know what I'm saying? It's a way to vet the process and have people see, but a lot of them battles could go on fucking YouTube. Them shits need to be going on YouTube. Dot vs. Sharna isn't out yet. The whole Super Fight card isn't out yet. And we are getting fucking three or four new niggas a day. Like, come on. What the fuck is going on with this shit? I'm trying to stick around until Dot vs. Sharna drops. But I'm really on some murder shit, eh? Anybody ever looked at me wrong, owes me money, or said any jealous bullshit is fucking dead. You know we not sitting around waiting for this bullshit that's coming out right now. Come on, man. Drop some goddamn battles and make the fucking app worth it. Niggas is ready to cancel their subscriptions because the shit that's coming out on it. I'm sorry, I'm calling it. I ain't sorry, but I gotta call it like I call it because I can't spoil it, man. I know on this platform, people watching, and I've seen people in my comments like, yo, you need to talk about the shit, the bullshit that's going on with these, bruh. What is you niggas doing? Get this shit together. I, I, 
I got nothing for you. Call your lawyer, I got nothing for you. Um, the, the main subject of this shit was rum nitty, one dimensional? Is that, is that what y'all going with now? Is that, is, that, is that the narrative that everybody wants to go with now? Now, so first of all, Rum Nitty, who been doing his thing for a long motherfucking time, you know what I'm saying? He came up, he had a couple battles on King of the Dot, uh, battle Danny Myers, uh, battle Arsenal, battle B Magic, and all this shit before he even got to URL. Had a couple battles, battle Ab. Ab is still, the, Rum Nitty versus Ab is still the greatest small room battle that the return of the small rooms. In the return of the small rooms, Romney versus Av is culture changing. Like Black Bear, Brooklyn, small room. It was probably about a hundred of us in there. And like to see that battle happen, that's why I'm gonna be like, oh, the bloggers, y'all don't go to events, y'all don't go to events. I was at Romney versus Av. I don't need to go to another event for the rest of my life if I don't want to. I've been to a lot of other ones too, but Romney versus Av was the fucking, the, the, the pillar of the small rooms. Like, they reinvented the small rooms. Like, it was all about the big stage until Rum Nitty versus Ab. Then niggas had Born Legacy 1, Born Legacy 2, Born Legacy 5, Store Legacy 8, Store Legacy 9. They had Born Legacy like fucking 13 right now. All these other leagues started doing small room car, small room car, small room car, small room car. With that being said, Rum Nitty was part of a change in what's going on in battle rap, the volume cards and all of that. They made the small room important again. Then he had the battle versus Iron Solomon. Come on, fam. Like, he had the battle versus Iron Solomon. That's another one that was fire. Then he had the battle versus Chilla. Like, y'all niggas, yo, when niggas be saying this shit sometimes, I be hearing it, but I always be wanting to cut my camera on because I'm like, damn, I don't want to talk about every fucking thing that goes on, but bruh. This Rum Nitty's one dimensional shit is crazy because, okay, you say punches, he punches. Who don't like punches? You know what I'm saying? Like, who don't like punches? I don't understand who don't like punches. Now, there may be times where I feel like Rum Nitty does a disservice to himself by some of the opponents that he takes because when you take some of the opponents that he's been taking recently, it doesn't inspire you to write at that level where you did. Uh, when you did the comeback versus K-Shine, or when you, uh, you know what I'm saying, you was choking and stumbling in the third round, you're on that big stage, you're trying to get it back, get it back, and you start going haywire after the stumble, or um, you versus, uh, it's a it's mad battles that you had that I felt like were inspiring. You versus New Jersey Twerk, when y'all got into the little scuffle and shit like that, um, and, and a bunch of other ones too, but it's like right now you're taking competition that's like here, and I know Rum Nitty has called out uh, Daylight, he's called out Hollow the Dawn, he's called out Conceited, and a lot of the battlers that are at that level are invited, you know what I'm saying? They're not, they look at it like it's too big of a risk, not much of a reward type battle. Or there's some that look at it like, yo, he battles too much. And when you think about it, um, there are some battlers, like I was talking to Ace on me yesterday, you know what I'm saying? And I spoke to John John about the battle too, so it's like, I don't have no vested interest in shit in, in, in who wins. Like, if you win, you win. If you don't, you don't. I know niggas be like, oh, you, you, you fuck with Rock. Your Rock is your man. Rock is my man, but I've told Rock battles I feel like he lost. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be official, whether it be moot. I tell him the battles I feel like he lost. Because if I can't tell you as a person that fucks with you or is cool with you that you lost the battle, then we don't need to be cool because then I got to lie to you. Let's keep it going. So I was talking to Ace, and um, I was talking about different battlers that, you know, different opponents and shit like that that he could potentially be looking into next. And, um, you know, I thought about a Danny Myers, and I think a Danny Myers, who does battle a lot, would be a good opponent, because now Danny Myers, although he battles a lot, this nigga's battling on every fucking car. He battling, uh, goddamn Taco Bell Tony today, and fucking, uh, Warrior Wednesday, and Shish Kebab Sam, and all these other niggas that don't really fucking mean nothing. He's winning. He's winning now. In his URL joints, 30s, 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 he's killing people. So that would probably be a good matchup, but what I was saying is, the more you battle, at sometimes that shit kills your stock because people know that they're gonna see you every week. They gonna we gonna see you next week anyway. You are gonna be on the next card. There's gonna be another card next month. We are gonna see you next month. We are gonna see the person the next month after that. Next month we are gonna always see this motherfucker around. So there's nothing to it. At times it's almost worth sitting out. Like if you can't get the name you want or you can't get the person you want, 
it's like fuck it. I just I'd rather just sit out than just battle any old goddamn body. But that's why it's important to have shit going on outside of battle rap, like having business going on, merchandise, whether YouTube channel, like you see all these battle rappers now. Everybody got a motherfucking caffeine channel. YouTube channel, and I remember when they started doing those, they were saying, yo, the bloggers is gonna be over because the battle rappers is boo boo boo. Listen, they might do what they do, see, but they don't do it like we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, we they don't do it like we be. Like, them niggas can do it because they the battle rapping, but them niggas can't do it like this. Like, like Wright said, he might have got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. I think people will always still watch. Basically, what I'm saying is, People will always still watch their favorite bloggers, regardless of who's fucking blogging. Loader Lux can start a goddamn blogging channel tomorrow. The views on the channels of the niggas that y'all really fuck with is not gonna change much. But, um, you gotta have something going on. And with Rum Nitty, I think another downfall is that he don't really be having much going on. He don't really got merchandise. He don't really do many interviews like that. He don't got a YouTube channel. It's like he comes, he battles, he leaves. And that's the end of it. And there's other MCs. I feel like Ill Will does the same. He comes, he battles, he leaves. They don't build like brands. You see Geechee Gotti got no studio on a podcast. He got clothing. He's helping develop the Riot and the West. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's back and forth just helping build shit and helping his brand grow. So even if he has a bad battle or two every now and then when he does have a battle that people aren't very fond of, he's still going to be seen in the good graces of the fans because they're looking at it like, well, he got all this shit going on. Boom, 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 boom. He's helping out the coach. He's battling small leagues. He's doing one round and shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. So they're still going to be able to see it. But when a nigga like Romniti comes and he battles against Holmesy, and even though he beat him, niggas will be like, oh man, but that shit was one dimensional. All it was was a one line gun line punch circus. That shit's not really like that for me. I don't really give a fuck about it. You leave the window open for people to debate, is basically what I'm saying. Um, and he's not, a lot of the bigger names ain't getting him. I heard last year, fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll tell y'all. I heard last year that RBE wanted him. And I heard that they was offering him good names, big names. Big names. He turned it down, which I understand, you know what I'm saying? Like, you go certain niggas, they go across the street. They ain't gonna want you to come back across the street. And like I said, this is just what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not. It might have been, it might not have been. But, uh, you know, hopefully we'll see bigger and better from Rum Nitty in um, 2021. You know what I'm saying? Like, because y'all niggas is not gonna, yo, y'all niggas not gonna be disrespecting my man. So, yes, he does punch a lot. But who the fuck don't like punchlines? Nigga, we all like punchlines. Y'all niggas wanted Rum Diddy to add to get nice on the big stage. He got nice on the big stage. Y'all niggas wanted that nigga to rebuttal. He started rebutting a little bit. Y'all niggas wanted him to add more charisma. He started adding more charisma. What else do you want a nigga to bring? Like, do you want the nigga to start scheming more? Or do you want the nigga to start fucking, uh, like, like dancing around in circles or doing headshots and shit? Come on, fam. I niggas let me know. Like, like, it, basically, in these comments right here, y'all think Rum Diddy's one dimensional? Like, for real? Like, I, the gun line king? The, the... I'm out, my niggas. I gotta go to work, man. But y'all niggas stay up, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you respect the Halo. Salute to my nigga Showtime SP. Gone.